Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So my last video, maybe a couple videos ago, I created a heart out of books copying a post I saw on Instagram from Book Outlet. And throughout that process, I kind of found myself looking through the books that I had, the ones that I picked, the red ones, the pink ones, and purple ones, and I turned it into a little bit of a book unhaul at the same time. I had a lot of fun with that. A little more fun than I thought I would. I thought it would be more frustrating. Granted, it was a little frustrating at times. But um, I've decided that I'm gonna try it again. I'm not gonna do a heart, but I have chosen, I went and picked up all of my blue, turquoisey, purplish books, the ones that I didn't have in the last one. Um, I picked them all up. I have them all right next to me. There's a lot of them. And I'm going to create a snowflake. In honor of the snow storm we have, I think they named it Winter Storm Destiny or something we're on. This is literally the fourth snowstorm in like three weeks. So we're getting a good 12 to 14 inches today, right? So why not? It's the perfect day to create a snowflake out of books. So we're going to start with that. I'm going to go through similar to like I did before. I'll go through every book that I have here. I won't talk synopsis because there's a lot of books. I'll show you all of them that I have and then we'll build our snowflake and see how it turns out. I have nothing to go on with this one. This is purely just me making it up as we go along. So it may, who knows what it's going to turn out as, but anyways, let's get started with the books that I have picked all of my blue ish books. First one is The Bone Season by Samantha Shannon. It's a fantasy one. I still want to read it. Um, still on my list. Um, this one is The Mercy of Thin Air by Ronlin Domingo. I feel like this is a paranormal. Like there's ghost vibes with this one if I remember correctly. Next I have Like a River Glorious by Ray Carson. This is the second book in a series I started. Um, I, wa I read Walk on Earth a Stranger and like loved it. I don't know what my problem is, why I haven't read the second one, but very good. Then we have Whiter Than Snow, appropriate today by Sandra Dallas, uh, historical fiction. We have The K Contingly Secret by Hazel Gaynor. This I believe has fairies in it and a little historically vibe to it and I love that color. We have The Sisters by Nancy Jensen. Couldn't even tell you what it's about, but I got it for two bucks. We've got The Housemaid's Daughter by Barbara Much. Um, I'm guessing historical fiction based on it, but no clue. Oh, Fall of Marigolds by Susan Meisner. Why have I not read this? I love me some Susan Meisner, but we got that one. Um, Three Weeks to Say Goodbye by C.J. Box. Thriller, I believe, so I don't know anything about it and don't want to. The Lucky Ones by Tiffany Rice. I think I bought some of these for um, the Deadly Divas Book Club. Like they had them all planned out for the year and of course I bought them all and then it went away, but whatever. I still have them. They must be good if they were picked, so. Case Histories by Kate Atkinson. I think this is another one I picked up from a friend of mine's rummage sale. No clue, no clue what it's about. Lisa Scottolini, Look Again. I like her audiobooks. Oh, I never did mention that in my audiobook one because I really, I tend to go right to her audiobooks. The Last Days of Summer by Vanessa Ronan. This is like, faintly, re I'm like recalling this is supposed to be really good, so. But I think Psychological Thriller. Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas. I did a try a chapter with this, I think, for a book list and like immediately was drawn into it. I didn't pick it. But I do remember I still want to read that for sure. The Tenderness of Thieves by Donna Freitas. Don't remember what that's about either. Another appropriate one for today. Black Ice by Becca Fitzpatrick. Obviously got this at Goodwill. I think it's YA thriller-esque from what I recall. Vince Flynn, Order to Kill, still one I haven't read. I devoured all of the Vince Flynn books at a certain point a number of years ago, read them like, I don't know, eight of them in a row or something. Um, loved, loved, loved them. It follows a character Mitch Rapp. He's a CIA agent, black ops type thing. 
really good, but um, they, Vince Flynn passed away quite a few years ago, and so this Kyle Mills kind of writes in his place, um, and they're still, he does a really good job, but I'm trying to like not just devour them so quickly anymore, so I know I've been saving it. Perfect Stranger by Megan Miranda. I got this book, look how beautiful this is, in a library, like a free little library, right? I'm like, did the person even read it? It doesn't even seem like it. Never Come Back by David Bell. Don't know where this came from or why I bought it. Gone Missing by Linda Castillo. You know, I'm obsessed with her lately. Here's a repeat. This is in the last one. Last time I lied, Riley Sagar. I brought it in again because it's a hardcover and it's blue. So I need, I did learn last time I need more hardcovers. Beasts of Extraordinary Circumstance by Ruth Emmy Ling. Um, one of my Instagram um, friends, Holly, cannot talk highly enough about this book. So she definitely has me intrigued to read it more. You think I would have learned last time? Let's move the coffee away from the books. Uh, Queen of Hearts by Kimberly Martin. I haven't heard the best things about it, so I'm a little nervous about that one. I don't know. A Million Junes by Emily Henry. Um, Not That I Could Tell by Jessica Strouser. Emma in the Night by Wendy Walker. You can tell that I pulled all those off my book outlet shelf. Um, another repeat, but it's a hardcover and I need more hardcovers. Girl That Drank the Moon by Kelly Barn Barnhill. The Orphan's Tale by Pan Jenoff. Who's reading this that is like loving, loving, loving it right now? Who was I talking to? Oh, my friend Jen. Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware. Ooh, that might be on the list to, to go. I don't know. My True Love Gave to Me. There's 12 holiday stories in here edited, edited by Stephanie Perkins, but 12 different authors. Vacationers by Emma Straub. Another good will find. Island of Lost Girls by Jennifer McMahon. It's got the blue here. Um, I remember reading this and just being like heartbroken just reading the back of it. Life as We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeiffer. Couldn't tell you where I got that book from. Necessary Lies by Diane Chamberlain. Oh, love me some Diane Chamberlain. Um, Pretty Baby by Mary Kubica. This one's signed. I've seen her a few times. Look at that. Lindsay, hope you enjoy Mary. Well, thank you, Mary. Um, chose the wrong guy, gave him the wrong finger by Beth Harbison. I've, I need to pick this up. That would be a good little contemporary. And it is contemporary a thon this week. Mm. The Sweetness of Forgetting by Kristen Harmel. Love, Luck, and Lemon Pie by Amy Reichart. She is a Wisconsin author, always writes about Wisconsin. Love her. I love her stories. Oh, and this one's going to take place in Milwaukee. Um, Shadow Society by Marie Rutkowski. Rutkowski. Wow, Lindsay. Um, good will find. Soft Place to Land by Susan Rebecca White. There's the blue on the side. Secrets She Left Behind by Diane Chamberlain. A little older one of hers, but still can be good. Faithful by Ellis Hoffman. Don't know why I haven't read that yet. The Last Song by Nicholas Sparks. The Smell of Other People's Houses by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Super short too. The Art of Racing in the or Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. I've been told I'm gonna cry with this one. It's okay. How to Hang a Witch by Adriana Mather. Shelter by Francis. Greenslade. Two of Spicy by Jacqueline Mitchard. Why did I buy this book? I can't remember. I feel like it was a significant recommendation. I don't remember. Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn. The People We Hate at the Wedding by Grant Ginder. I bought this for, what did I buy that for? I don't remember. I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I loved Gail Foreman. I loved reading her If I Stay series. High Season by Judy Blundell. 
I think this is a re... Should I... No, that's a different one. I was going to say, I thought it was Bookish first, book first, but it's not. Everyone Brave is Forgiven by Chris Cleave. Handle with Care by Jodi Picot. The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Iturb. Look at that. It's so pretty. Diane Chamberlain must really like blue because here's another one before the storm. Here's my blue. A Place in the Country by Elizabeth Alt Adler. Jamie McGuire's Beautiful Oblivion. That just makes me think of the song. And I'm through with you. Not the book, I just the song. The Bright Forever by Lee Martin, another Goodwill find. And another Amy Reichardt, The Optimist's Guide to Letting Go. Um, this warms my heart because I was supposed to see her, she was coming to an event and that was the weekend my mother-in-law had passed away that week so we, I couldn't make it. So my really, really good friend went and got her to sign the book for me kind of told her why I wasn't there and Amy's like, okay, you have to tell her she can't read the book right now. Not a good time, but it will definitely, I think it'll hit me when I do pick it up. So I gotta do that soon. But that was so sweet of her to go and get that for me. So thank you, Becky, you're the best. Um, the Moore's Account by Leila Lalami. I think I got this in a book exchange, I wanna say. Go Set a Watchman by Harper Lee. Another series that I've loved, loved, loved over the years, Jeffy Archer. Um, this one is Be Careful With What You Wish For. Uh, I don't know what number in the series this even is, but it starts, when does it, um, what is the first book? It's not going to be in here, is it? Of course not. Why would it be? Um, but it basically follows a family throughout um, history. So it starts with a young man who immigrates to the United States and kind of follows his journey and his family from there. So I've really enjoyed that. What the Nanny Saw by Fiona Neal. The Secret Daughter of the Tsar by Jennifer Lam. Oh, you know me and Russian historical fiction. Um, the Secret Life of Josephine. This is, um, Josephine was, I believe, uh, connected to Napoleon by Carolee Erickson. She wrote The Hidden Diary of Marie Antoinette, which I really, really enjoyed. Read that a while ago, so I gotta get, get to that one. Flight of Dreams by Ariel Lahan. You know my love for Ariel Lahan. Um, Shoot the Moon by Billy Letts. I feel like I've read a book by Billy Letts and liked it. A Hundred Summers by Beatrice Williams. Uh, the Next Person You Meet in Heaven by Mitch Elbaum. Got a little bit of blue, plus beautiful, beautiful blue spine. I think we'll probably just use that. The Book of M by Peng Shepard. I got almost halfway through this book and put it down and I never picked it back up. My Lady Jane by Cynthia Han, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows. I believe this was an art. Was I sent this or did I get this at book on? I can't remember. But Protagon Protogenesis by Alyssa Helm Helming. The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Eddier. This is funny. The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. The second book in the series was in my first video. Love is the Drug by Alea Dawn Johnson. Two more. Red Queen by Victoria Aviard. Blue-ish or white? I thought it had a blue hue to it, so I went with it. And then Renegades by Marissa Meyer. It's a big book. So, there they all are. Now we're going to go try to make my snowflake. I'll bring you with me. Wish me luck. Alright, just to give you a little snippet of the Winter Wonderland we have going on. Here it is. I don't know if you can even see the snow, but it's falling pretty steady. Perfect day to do this. All right, here we go. Here is our snowflake. I think it turned out really cute. 
with all my blue books and some purples. So there's my snowflake. It took me a lot less time than the last one because, well, I wasn't on carpet and I only used hardcover books, so much easier to stand. So um, I'm going to snap a picture of this and then I'll go through all of the books I am going to put in my unhaul pile. All right, so I did really good this time. I've got 14 books that are on my pile to get rid of. So what I'm gonna do once I have all of these, this whole pile together, um, some of them I might wanna do a little more research on, just check Goodreads. I may want to keep a few for a little project I'm doing, um, but the rest I think I'm gonna start donating to our free little libraries and the library and all that stuff. My cat is playing with my tripod. What are you doing? Come here. Yeah. Here. I don't know what she's being weird. Okay, so first one that is going on my get rid of pile is Life as We Knew It by Susan Bell Pfeiffer. Um, even just reading the back of this, I was like, yeah, I'm not all that interested anymore. Um, there's a meteor headed to the moon and it's just kind of causing some pandemic and eh, not interested. Shadow Society, again, by Marie R Rutkowski, I think that's it. Uh, Goodwill pick. My phone doesn't work the greatest in Goodwill, so looking things up on Goodreads and such doesn't help. And sometimes I end up with books that I'm like, I don't remember really why I got that. The Bright Forever by Lee Martin. This one I think I'm going to do a little more research on. Um, it is. It was a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. It does sound intriguing. It's about a little girl who takes a book back to the library one day and that kind of sets about a series of events that change people's lives forever. So I'm not sure. It's very vague, the synopsis, but I need to look into that a little bit more. I immediately threw The Sisters by Nancy Jensen in this pile as well. I didn't even look anything on it. Just if you saw during my video, this like, I don't even recall anything about this. Um, so I think I'll look a little bit more into it. But again, the synopsis on the back, back is very vague as well. It's about sisters. Well, I kind of got that from the title. Um, Shelter by Frances Greenslade. Again, this also follows sisters, but in the 1970s, growing up in the Pacific Mountains. Another Goodwill pick. Maybe I need to not go to Goodwill. <laughs> what the Nanny Saw by Fiona Neal. This follows a family who kind of lost everything during the financial crisis in, in 2008. Um, and it all kind of comes down to what did the nanny witness. Um, the last song by Nicholas Sparks. <sighs> He's hit or miss for me. And lately, I've been listening to them on audio rather than reading them. So if I'm going to listen to it on audio, if I'm going to listen to it on audio, what do I need the book for? I don't. Yet I, ca I constantly come back to Safe Haven, which I loved. Love, love, love. Like, probably in my top 25 books of all time. Which, but yet, a number of his other books have been complete duds for me. So... I'm always wondering, like, am I missing another safe haven? But I don't know. Um, the Vacationers by Emma Straub. Eh, just not interested. Here's another um, audio one. Look Again by Lisa Scottolini. I always listen to them on audio. I really, really enjoy the narrator. So, again, why do I need the book? I don't. Never Come Back by David Bell. I think I need to just do a little bit more research into this one. Psychological thriller whether or not this woman was killed by her um, special needs son or not. So it does sound interesting. My true love escaped me. I tried to read this, le not this, what Christmas did I try to read this? I tried to read it, I did. And it just didn't, didn't grab my attention, so I don't need it. Um, the Tenderness of Thieves by Donna Fritas. I have to, I think, do a little more research into this one. Um, but it wasn't holding my interest, at least the synopsis wasn't. All right, I think that's it. I, this was on, this is a maybe, but I've been, Book of the Month has been hitting it out of the park for me lately, and I just realized this was a Book of the Month book. So I need to maybe put this back, 
with my book of the month books. <laughs> I don't know why, I just feel like I do. But there's the books, there's now the 13 books I'm going to put in my kind of get rid of pile, which this is coming along. This is more books than I ever thought I would be kind of purging through. And again, a very different way for me to look at my books because I've been looking at them for the same way for so long that I think I'm just kind of losing sight of what exactly is there. And trust me, there's too many there that this is forcing me to really pull them out and touch them individually and look at them individually and just be like, why did I get this? And what was the reason? And do I really need it anymore? So comment below. Let me know if you like this and how I'm doing this. Um, I still have a number of colors to go through. I've got black, that's a huge stack. I've got greens and yellows. I did reds, pinks, blues. I've got a bunch of white because I didn't use all my whites. So I still have some more that I can go through. So let me know below, comment below. Let me know if you like the way that I'm doing this um, or if there's a way that I can change it up and kind of share with you all of the books that I have while going through a bit of a book on haul. Otherwise, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.